the needs certainly been greater. Um, we, uh, prior to the pandemic, I would say that our focus was mostly expanding in those second two areas of work that I mentioned, right? So we had our, our baseline emergency services programs and our real focus was on how do we really long-term uh, change the lives of these families so they don't need to rely on these sorts of services ongoing. Um, and so we were working on housing development projects, we still are. Um, but what the pandemic has, has forced us to do is reinvest in and recognize um, just the general lack of safety net emergency services in Oakland County and um, to really focus on stepping up to meet unmet needs that were growing rapidly as a result of the pandemic, but that also were, um, from a safety perspective, were compounded by, you know, what does it mean to have unsheltered homeless people when there's a pandemic? What does it mean uh, to be potentially facing eviction, uh, to, to be struggling with hunger when uh, certain resources are just no longer available? Um, and all this while people were uh, losing, you know, losing income and a larger, a larger number of folks were seeking our help. Um, so uh, we've ramped up predominantly in two main areas uh, pretty dramatically. Uh, the first being our emergency shelter services. Um, so we went from a capacity of about uh, 30 uh, individuals per night in emergency shelter to over 100. And we did that through um, a, a shift into a hoteling program um, because we don't believe that mass shelter is currently a viable and, 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 and safe approach, especially for a lot of the families we were serving and some of the individuals we were serving who were COVID-19 positive. Um, so we've been doing that uh, since, uh, since March. Um, we've also um, dramatically ramped up our uh, food emergency food distribution uh, efforts. So we now have, you know, whereas in the past we serve roughly 10,000 folks a year with emergency food, now it's about 4,600 folks per week. Um, and we're doing that in partnership with a large number of volunteer groups and other organizations. Um, we're, we're sort of providing the hub um, to uh, collect food donations, um, process those donations with volunteers, uh, socially distance, of course. Um, we're renting a larger warehouse space for that. Um, and then moving those emergency food boxes that each have a week of food for a family um, out to the people who need them. So uh, we have a series of, of, of um, well, we have multiple um, uh, food distribution satellite sites uh, throughout the county currently, and we're also doing home delivery. Um, so we're, we've ramped up significantly in, in those areas and, and we're definitely in need of donations to support that work. Uh, but I will say, um, I wouldn't say we're struggling in regards to donations. I I've actually been moved by the generosity of our community during this time. Um, I've never seen so much support for the basic needs of people in our community. And I've been working in homeless services for over a decade now. So um, while we do continue to need additional support to continue to meet that need, um, I'm very proud of our community's uh, support to date.